Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Kool Man 100X. How are you guys doing? Um, we're coming to you with part two of the beer ad tutorial of Corona. Um, I'm gonna try to do this whole tutorial in this part. So, um, what you wanna do? Open up your beer ad tutorial. I'm gonna go to File, Save As. Um, just save it where I stopped it. Um, now that we added our shadow, uh, our table, our sand, we added the burn down tool effect. We had a lot of stuff in here. So what we're going to be working on is the logo, background, the lighting and shadowing, and the table. So what you want to go back to, guys, is the table. Now for the table, you want to just add just a drop. So you want that brisk spark shadow. So just add the distance of spread size here for the table itself. So it's not too big but the opacity can be so the drop shadow is the same as the opacity here so when you take the beer at here and the beach so you get the table by itself so see here got a drop shadow um not drop shadow it's outer glow i believe it's outer glow yeah um screen spread let me see oh, put your color on black there it is um it's out of shadow so you want to add your spread about not too big but the size bring the spread down to about four and about right there to about 29 or bring it down a little bit about 18 18 would be cool press okay for outer glow not not drop shadow outer glow press okay um add your hidden layers back and you just wanted that drop in the front that's all you want it you just want that drop so it doesn't matter so actually you have the table by itself so you don't have nothing to worry about you just wanted that drop that's all i just I just like that drop in the background because it won't look as the table is being in front just sitting. So that's how you gotta drop it. All right, um, the next we're gonna be working on is the logo and the lighting for each one. So what you wanna do is go back to your beer ad to, you wanna play with your brightness and contrast a little bit. So it just comes down to just lighting. So what you wanna do here guys is for the beer you want to add brightness and contrast right then you want to press alt on your keyboard and you see the little square box that come between the beer and the brightness and contrast now what you want to do is just for a test run and see how it look with the light itself and the beer you can see the beer is being dark in a little bit so So you want the beer to look pretty much like this. Your brightness on nine and your contrast on 67. If you feel as though that's too bright and too dark for you, it doesn't matter. You can definitely play with the lighting yourself. Now, now when it comes down to the alt technique, press alt and put it in between the beer bottle. So it just be on the beer by itself. Now, you can either do this in different ways. It has, you see that it's on the beer by itself. Now add in another brightness and contrast for the scenery. Now, for the scenery you want to add another brightness and contrast which is here so you want to add the brightness up a little bit the contrast dark and the brightness about nine probably a little bit more contrast would so be more darker so you have the scenery in the black dark and you have the beer itself being his own brightness and contrast now we're going to be working on is the actual logo now, that's just the easiest quickest way you can do this it's very simple um all you want to do is get your magic wand tool make sure the tolerance is around 30 doesn't matter what size and it uh, crops out all the white color and you have to unlock the layer first how do you do that then press backspace or delete and you just want to delete the white that's inside the letters of the corona white um, here probably in the dots here as well press backspace and delete uh, dots the r 
All right, so have yourself a clean logo here. So you want to just carry it over to the beer ad tutorial and put it in the sky. Now you can do this anyway. You can put this as logo if you want. And you can right click, convert to smart object. So you want to keep the same size quality. Control T or shift at the square box. And just bring it down. Just bring it down. Oh, I forgot to erase the G there. So you can just go back and erase that with your magic wand to over the G. If I can get in there. Yeah, I did. I gotta reverse it to a rasterize later. So Alright. Now we got the G by itself here by itself so what you want to do here is double click the layer and go to the outer glow and you want to keep the same color that's with it if you want doesn't matter I just like that color and bring up the brightness and contrast and bring it down bring the size down to about I'm gonna say 10 to 24 your spread on 10 and your size on 24 so the logo will look exactly like this. Or you can bring down your opacity and bring up your opacity. So like that realistic look at the crown. So it'll look pretty much the same, but it gives them more of a depth feel of the lettering. So yeah. Now for the next trick of the lighting here is that you want to add an apply abstract and you want to put an exposure on top of it. So what we're going to do here, guys, is make a new layer. You want to go to image, apply image and press OK. And you can call this your uh, final layer. You can call this your final if you want. Your last. I'm going to put it last. So um, this is your last layer. So it's already um, merged all the layers together and made a final picture. Now what you can do is put an exposure. You can put any type of filter that you want on it. I just like exposure because you can just up it just a bit right there and bring the gamma here. Just up the exposure just a little bit. So you get a crisp HD look, just a crisp HD look there. So as you see there, you can add different filters if you want to bring your lighting up. Like let's say if you wanted to add a blue, see how it gives that blue feature. You can add different colors. You can add your own warm filter. I got different filters you can add here so see how different filters that will make the scenery look more clean more dynamic um you can do that uh what else you can do is you can add uh curves if you want curves is very good as well because you get a default of a good clean background so you can bring it up see how it brings it down brings it up brings it down you can definitely to get different colors aspects of that so different ways you can make your beer bottle look clean but the uh the regular pretitious way uh the same identical way is the exposure the exposure is what brings out the definite brightness colors and the shadows and depth and everything so you can go to vibrant black and white you can do anything else that you want to do but if you want to just make it clean add and make it look very clean as the first one here so this is definitely the way to go so guys i hope you enjoyed the beer ad tutorial to help you guys get familiar in photoshop and you know get yourself to show some of your portfolio that you did so um make sure you like comment subscribe i'm gonna try to make some more tutorial for you guys so it might be a little slow so bear with me um, but thanks for coming guys. Thanks for the support and be having more big tutorials coming for you soon. I might do a tutorial breakdown on one of my old projects. So stay tuned for that. I think you might like that tutorial. So deuces.